Hello everyone, this is Mr. Charlesworth with a quick video tutorial on how to access and submit assignments on Google Classroom. Starting from your Chrome browser, click on the nine squares in the top right corner to access the Classroom tab. You might need to scroll down to find it, as I had to in this video. By clicking on it, the screen we are now seeing has various classes that you are enrolled in. For this tutorial, we are submitting an assignment that is found under the, the Music Test Class 1. Clicking on the Music Test Class will take us directly to the main page for the class that allows us to see the posts the teacher created and a simple upcoming assignments list. You can either click on the assignment directly or you can go to the upcoming list to see all the assignments that are due and we'll be going to the upcoming list for this tutorial. The view all button, by clicking on it, you are taken to a list that contains all the assignments that are due, um, as well as a menu on the left-hand side that organizes the assignments as assigned, returned, or missing, which can help if you find that you're behind on your work. These three assignments will demonstrate three different types that a teacher might use during the remote schooling period. There is a simple question and response. There is a document-based assignment. And there is a quiz. First, we'll be looking at the simple question and response assignment. By clicking the assignment that's posed as a question down here, you can see it says you haven't answered this question. And there is also an option for viewing details. For any assignment that presents view details by clicking on it, we are taking to the assignments page. At the top, you can see the heading, the title for the assignment is presented again. Also, who created the assignment and when it was last edited. The instructions for the assignment. And we can also see that in this one, there is a YouTube video that has been linked in. The instructions say to watch the video and explain what instruments you hear in the music at the time listed in the question. By clicking the YouTube link, a video is brought up onto our screen. We can then watch the video for whatever the assignment is asking. Once we have found our answer, we can click anywhere outside the box of the video, or we can use the left hand arrow that says close. By clicking that, we are brought back to our main assignment page and you can see to the right it gives us the choice for your answer and type it your answer in by clicking where it says type your answer we can type in whatever our response is and click turn in as you can see, it says submit answer. You won't be able to make changes to your answer after you submit. Teachers sometimes can change it so that answers can be changed after submitted. But in this case, our, what we put in first is what uh, our only opportunity to do so. If we're confident with our answer, we click turn in. And you can see the box on the right changed to what our answer was. You can see below, there is a private comments box. If we click in here and add private comment, once we click send, that private comment is sent simply to the teacher. Nobody else can see it, it's private. If under class comments, we would type a comment and hit send. Anyone that goes into this assignment will be able to see our comment. Keep this in mind before posting anything that would be off topic or inappropriate. Going back to the assignments list, I simply clicked on the title of the class in the top left. It brought us back to our main page. We can see that our upcoming assignment list is now shorter because we've completed one. 
Our next assignment, we're going to go through the same steps, clicking view all. We can see that it now says turned in. Our next assignment, music listening assignment two, is an example of a document-based assignment. We can see now it has a little bit of an extra window here that says temp student Google Docs, but it also once again has the view details option. We're going to click that. So we can see the titles the same as before, it's up at the top, followed by simple instructions. And this one says instructions for this assignment are within the document. Over to how, how do we access the document? Over to the right, before where we just needed to type an answer and hit turn in, now there's an option for a temp student Google Doc or an option to add or create. If the teacher has created a doc for you to use, we'll click that and be taken to the Google Doc. Now, sometimes when you go in for the first time, you will see a variety of boxes. This one says editors can see your view history. I understand, we'll clear that box, and we can see what was asked of us. For this assignment, paste pictures of famous composers and a brief description of what their most famous piece of music was. So, we can do that very quickly. I'll go to a new tab and search Beethoven as a famous composer. Go to images, and here's a wonderful picture of Beethoven, one of his most famous images, actually. We'll copy it and paste. That's a little bit big, we're gonna shrink it. Just a little bit. And as far as adding what his first most famous piece of music was, we'll simply say uh, symphony uh, number nine, we'll say his Ode to Joy. So once we are happy with what we've added to the document and we can see up in the top right, there's a turn in and share option. We're happy, we can click turn in and we are brought back to our page and it asks us again, one attachment will be submitted. We can click turn in. And this assignment is complete. Now on this one, I set as the teacher that you could always click unsubmit and go back in and change and make edits to your work. But for our sake, we're going to say that we are happy with what we've turned in. And looking, you can see that on our upcoming list, it's down to one assignment. We're gonna go back in. Now we have two of the three assignments turned in. We're going to go to our music listening quiz. This last assignment is an example of a quiz that teachers might use. And following the previous steps of accessing the assignment page, we will go right into it. Clicking view details. And we can see music listening quiz. We can click it and it'll take us right there. And on this page, it looks similar to uh, any Google surveys or forms that might've been sent out. Anything that has a star next to it is required. Uh, we'll go through this quickly. First question, which of the following are composers? Reading the answers, I'm going to select Beethoven, the composer, and Leonard Bernstein. What musical was Leonard Bernstein most well known for? Uh, West Side Story. And our last one, what is your favorite instrument? Um, I'm going to say an E flat tuba. And once I'm happy with all my answers, I'm going to click submit. I can view score if I want and see how I did. Oh, I got a 15 out of 15 and I got all of them right. But if we go back and click open assignment, we can see that our work was turned in. And this one also had the option of redoing the work and we could unsubmit it. Going back to the main page, we see now that it says, woohoo, no work dot do soon. So thank you for watching this tutorial on how to turn in and submit assignments on uh, Google Classroom. If you have any questions or need support, you can always reach out to our support email, which is support at gillinghamchartersschool.org, or feel free to call the school 
during normal school hours and they can help direct you to a help desk uh, personnel. Once again, have a great day and please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.